Hello everyone, this is ASMR if today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I'll show you how to view to retouch and how to how to remove the spot from the face. So I got an image for the stock purpose and I'll show you how to do that. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So at first go to the file and open up. From here I got this image and here some spots and how to remove it properly and easily so at first make copy by pressing ctrl j and you are getting a layer which is a new layer and i'm just keeping it for the backup purpose so at first from here on the forehead i'll remove that so how to do that here the spot healing brush tools and select this one content your that means i'm just getting the pixel from the around of this spot and just healing it so select this one and just select this one and select once it will gone okay here a little bit yeah that's good but uh, in this case i'm just using this one and i'll make the circle smaller by pressing that bit opening and just select once and select once here and here as well and here as well so just here as well and here so that's good and a little bit here and here so and this portion you are getting like that make the brush size bigger and just select once so the removed from the spot on the face we just remove the spot from the face and now we'll do the correction of other things so how to do that go to the filter and here is the photo tool box and skin finer so just press it i have another detailed video about, about the skin finer if you want to get that tutorial link please check out my video description so here from here the the smoothing and other stuff so from here i'll making it smooth and i'll making it like a little bit rough not too much and it will be more like proper or realistic that's good and here hue i'll make the hue like this little bit red type and the saturation i'll increase a little bit plus nine or like that so brightness i'll decrease the brightness a little bit and decrease the saturation yeah that's good contrast i'll make the contrast like that and then the shadow i'll make the shadow like that and the highlight as well i'll make like that so you can adjust the brightness i'll adjust the brightness like this yeah this one is more like a realistic and add some shadow a little bit yeah that's good and then here the fine i'll make it a little bit fine so i'm making it zoom so let's see the before one and after one. yeah that's fine and hit the ok button so after that you are getting the image like that so before one and after one so after that press ctrl j and go to the filter and the camera filter from here i'll add the color correction and other stuffs so from here i'll de highlight this one yeah that's good and add some shadow like that and the white i'll make it like that and the exposure a little bit like this yeah and the blacks i'll make like that i'm making this photo more realistic so from here if you want you can add some warm tone or cool tone i'll little bit make it like warming so that's good and i'll go to this hsl panel from here i'll increase the red saturation so and luminance as well and the orange i'll make it a little bit up the luminance of the orange and yellow as well and the saturation i'll make it down and down as well so from here i'll go to the camera calibration and I'll adjust the light yeah that's good and here and here the primary green color and this portion as well so that's good and now I'll go to the curve and blue curve I'll make the blue curve like this so this one is good and yeah that's good and the red as well so I'll make it like this yeah that's good and the RGB color and I'll make it like this so it will be more realistic and then fx from here fx i'll make some vignetting so here a little bit minus six is good and the dehaze option i'll make the dehaze like this 
yeah that's good and from the basic panel i'll desaturate this one little bit yeah the shadow i'll increase and the exposure a little bit and from the hsl panel i'll add some luminance and decrease the red saturation a little bit yeah that's good and then hit the ok button before that i'll save this preset and i'll give you that preset download link in my video description so from here that's good and hit the ok button and then now i will add some like a shadow and highlighting before that i'll increase the eye color so how to do that take a new blank layer and go to the brush tool and make the brush size smaller like according to the cornea and take a color which is like blue light yeah that's good and select once before that check the opacity 100% and make the flow 100% so that's good and select once here and once here and make the blending mode to overlay yeah that's good so before one and after one you are getting the blue type eyes so that's good and now the lips color take a new blank layer and go to the palette which is the color palette and pick a color from here but i'll make the saturation like this and hit ok so and then i'll make the brush size smaller like this and just brush over here so brush properly in a lips not too much or not like lights so yeah that's good yeah that's fine and go to the blending mode and make it soft light that's good that's the like um, natural type and make the flow like this and press ctrl j and make the blending mode to the overlay so make this one more like this yeah that's good and go to the hue options from the adjustment layer and change the hue color and before that you have to make it like mask and change the hue color yeah that's good and yeah that's fine that's the real one so i'm selecting this layer and making it group and those are for the lips so let's see this one if you need you can change the opacity yeah a little bit yeah that's good before one and after one you are getting like a nice look so before one before one and before one and before one so from here you are just getting the ultimate change of this before one and after one you are getting like that so after that i'm selecting these three or four groups and make it group and make it merge and then i'll add the shadow and highlight for that press ctrl j and j two layers one is for the highlight and another one is for the shadow so i'm turning off the shadow and see the highlight option and go to the blending mode and make it screen after that right press and blending options and find out the highlighted area of the face yeah most of the highlighted area and press the alter button and divide the slider and adjust with the light and a face yeah that's good yeah and hit okay and mask this one go to the image and apply image and hit okay so select this one and that is the shadow and go to the blending mode and make it multiply so after that right press and blending options from here i'll find out the shadow of the light and face shadow yes and press the alter button and divide the slider and adjust the shadow the face and hit okay so mask this one and go to the image and the apply image and make it invert in this case and hit ok so we are getting the shadow and highlight so select these two layers make it group and mask and go to the image and apply image and uncheck the invert option and hit ok so before one and after one you are getting ultimate change and select this one make it group and make it merge and then go to the adjustment layer and gradient from here this gradient i'll select and make it radial and reverse so take the read this one this radius here and make the opacity that is the scale that is around 350 and make it zero degree and if you need you can change it out and make it detail as well and hit okay so before one and after one so if you want you can change the mode and other stuffs like this so that's good and hit okay select these two things make it group and make it merge 
and now i'll go to the filter and nick collection and color effects pro 4 and now i'll apply another effects from the nick collection if you want to get the download link of the nick collection please check out my video description so from here i'm using the cross processing and i'll choose one of them which is the beauty yeah that is the beauty or uh, this one this one this one is good and you can use one of them so i'll choose this one or uh, yeah that is fine and hit okay so it will take time to load it up and give you the final output so let's wait for it yeah and let's see the before one and after one so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i may say when signing out today bye bye